Hey y'all, welcome back to Jack's Drinkwater Southern Cooking and Barbecue. Smokes are rolling here at the Drinkwater Residence today. In today's video, I got wicked smoked chicken on the Lone Star Grill. It's gonna be fire. We're about ready to get this marinade put together. Now's a good time to get your smoker up to temp. I'm rolling mine at around 300 to 325 degrees. Remember, we wanna to try to get that chicken skin a little bit on the crispier side rather than the rubbery side. So cooking that at a higher temp is gonna be your best bet, but you smoke yours how you like. Now this recipe is so simple, it only has four ingredients. We're gonna start out with one cup of zesty Italian dressing a quarter cup of Dale's low sodium steak marinade. Next up, a quarter cup of Frank's Red Hot. And lastly, we have a quarter cup of Stubbs Original Barbecue Sauce. Give it a whisk. So this recipe is good for about four to six chicken quarters. I got four today. We're gonna be putting them in this bag, which is a two gallon Ziploc bag on Amazon. I'll leave a link where you can get those. They are the bomb diggity for marinating big hunks of meat or chicken. Pour your marinade over the top of those chicken quarters. Seal it up and marinate for at least an hour. Make sure you massage them really, really good. It's been one hour, it's time to put these chicken quarters on. I'm gonna be using the bottom rack today. These jokers are gonna be good. All right, notice I have them pulled back a little bit from the fire. We're just gonna kinda keep them on this middle to left side over there. Shut it down. Still running between 300 and 325. If it drops below 300 and we need to get this pit back up to temp, that's perfectly fine. We just basically wanna make sure the last bit of that cook for sure is on the high end between three and 325 so we can get that chicken or that skin a little crispy. I'm not even gonna look at this for one hour. Totally optional step and one of the things I love about the Lone Star Grills is this side griddle. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our little cast iron little dealio on there like that. We're gonna take our leftover marinade and we're just gonna pour this off in here just like so. And we're gonna boil this for 10 minutes, kill all that bacteria. And what we might do is glaze this towards the end of this process, or you know, before we get ready to eat it, we might glaze it, or use it as a dipping sauce. It's been one hour, we're gonna have a look at these, and they are looking pretty good, I must say. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take these chicken quarters and I'm gonna move them to the top rack and then I'm gonna rotate them into a different direction. All right, so this one was facing this way, so what I wanna do is I'm gonna take it and move it that way. Actually, I'm gonna kinda move this to the center. Take this one, and we got a little bit of big time skin pull back here. <clears throat> Really like that, but it's fine. Move that one here. And then we'll take this one and move it to the front here, like so. All right, like that. And I also have, hang on a second. I also have some chicken thighs I'm gonna put on here. Uh, they're bone-in chicken thighs, but they're not gonna take as much time as these. The next time you see me open this, you're probably gonna see those chicken thighs on there. So just so you know, my chicken quarters are not like gremlins. They're not multiplying. That's what that is. It's been two, two and a half hours. We're about ready to pull these bad boys. I probed these, they're probing at about 175, which is what I'm looking for. I'm gonna remove them and we'll be back with you. Mm. 
These things are looking fantastic. We're gonna let them sit here. We're gonna let them rest about 15 minutes and then we're gonna give them a sample. It's been 15 minutes. I'm about ready to dig into these badgers and give them a sample. Here we go. That is fantastic. Let's give that skin a try. A little bit of meat and skin. That is absolutely delicious. You guys gotta try this. All right guys, wicked smoked chicken on your Lone Star Grills. Do it.